Hey guys, Noah here, back with another Transformers review, and this is the video for Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Siege WFC S9 Autobot Hound from the Siege toy line, and uh, he's pretty great. <clears throat> this figure uh, but before we get to the actual figure we gotta go to the box and uh, it's a pretty good figure you can see my forehead and the reflection there a bit um, uh, the figure looks pretty nice in there it says WFU WFC dash S9 Autobot Hound there with a messed up Autobot logo Siege for Cybertron Trilogy Hasbro Transformers Generations to Cartomi. Then it's got this beautiful art of, I guess like that's the main art for uh, Siege toy line. So uh, here's got some CGI renders of the figure. You can see he's got like two weapons and uh, his Jeep mode. Uh, both me and my father were push put off by this figure um, to start with because of the Jeep mode. Just because of that top bit. Because Hound has never had that bit. Unless he's like a different version of Hound. But it uh, worked out. Because uh, it's not as bad as it seemed. On the back you can kind of see. Kind of looks like um, a cup. Which is interesting. I do like this photo. It shows like the gun there. Um, as his shoulder can when in actuality. It looks nothing like his canon from the original show, but, I mean, this is a reboot, so. Uh, also, I wish that the figure had that finger articulation at the top. It says, it has the Autobot logo, Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy, bottom legalities and stuff. Uh, also, on these things, on the sides, you can, some points, you can see, like, reflections of Cybertronian writing and stuff like um, I don't know if we'll be able to capture a lot of it but it's there um, so yeah I'm gonna go get this guy opened up transformed into vehicle mode and then we can take a look at that so see you then okay so here is Hound in vehicle mode and, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's very small for, uh, what it is, but I like it. It's pretty nice. Uh, the colors all look good. Um, you can barely see any of that weathering detail except for on the front. Um, on this little bumper piece, it's got some drag rushing on there. Also, it's on the back of the Jeep. Um, I don't know exactly what type of car this is based off if it even is but um it does have this weird like uh canopy cover thing that's just open on all sides except for the front uh so that's kind of weird uh initially uh both me and my father were put off by this of this figure just purely because of that and said oh well we would have to keep it in robot mode it's actually not that bad in person um pictures don't do it justice Kind of the same with a lot of uh, Hasbro Transformer figures. <clears throat> the pictures don't do it justice, except for when it's Omega Supreme, because that thing's beautiful. But um, yeah, he's got all these five millimeter ports on here, and uh, some of these, uh, these three here, are only visible in robot or vehicle mode, which are for his accessories. You can put the uh, uh, what's this? The magazine clip there. You can put like this here. I guess if you want this one, the green one, uh, the smallest one, I believe is supposed to go there as his shoulder cannon. So it's pretty cool. Just needs to focus. Uh, at the front, you can see this nice copper color, the star there, and then Autobot logo. Uh, copper color continues up to the side. The lights on the front are painted nicely. The undercarriage, you can see his face, but that's okay. You can't transform it with it turned around. So uh, the copper color is under there too. More copper and some tail lights and brake lights and other stuff. So yeah, 
um, we are going to get this transformed and I just need to move the camera down after we do a bit of some size comparisons. So let me fix this camera. Also one thing I wanted to mention was that uh, the instruction manual here is folded very crisply and uh, not like Lego instruction manuals. So anyway, here he is next to a one of the smallest Autobots I have in my collection. Some generations Bumblebee, who I found out scales pretty well with the Siege line due to like the scale line of um, the original toys. They look pretty good together. Uh, they're both based on like Cybertronian designs, I believe. So for he looks more like a actual Earth mode car. But anyway, um. So let's take him out and put him next to another supposedly Earth Mode car, uh, Hot Rod, along with Fire Drive, who I put up there on accident. Uh, they look pretty good together. Of course, they aren't in scale. A Titan Master cannot fit in. He can't. A Titan Master can fit in, inside of there. So there's no way to seat them securely so uh, but yeah uh, they look pretty good together um, also I painted fire drive to match hot rod and also to be more consistent with the head color so anyway um, yeah they look pretty good uh, hot rod is longer I think he's he and jazz are two of the longest modern transformers just because stuff like he's his hood is like half as long as this guy so then speaking of jazz here he is next to power of the primes deluxe jazz and see again jazz is very long uh, about half as long 1.5 uh, times as long as this guy so yeah Jazz uh, they look cool together uh, Jazz is based on an earth mode vehicle um, but I like to fudge him into like uh, Cybertronian ideal uh, ideas so yeah and then last certainly not least here is Siege Hound next to Siege Optimus. Now let me just take the gun off real quick. So yeah, uh, Optimus does not scale very well as a truck with other vehicles from the line. He does work with like Legends class vehicles like Bumblebee here. So, um, but yeah, uh, these two look pretty good together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Optimus again. 1.5 times as long just because he's a very long truck uh yeah hound is i think a bit taller due to like the little thin there but yeah um anyway we're going to remove him and we're going to transform hound okay so for transformation First, you're gonna want to parts form him. You wanna take off all of the weapons, including the magazine, because this part will become uh, unseeable in robot mode. So, then you wanna go to down here where these copper stripes are, pull those up. Those are his arms. Uh, take the front wheel, separate it from the body. There's just a little tab that tabs into that hole there. Then it can accordion out. You want to raise out the foot and uh, do the same on this side. Then you can take this back piece, lift it up, disconnect the two legs, fold this one out, and then you can style it back in. There's a little slot there, the smaller version. There's a little tab right there. You can just have that in there we go then you bring the foot 
flush with the rest of the leg, then you can lift out the arm to a point where it's out like that. You can twist it to where the forearm's facing forward, and uh, then you do the rest for the other side. This one gives me a bit of trouble. Yeah, it uh, comes apart. I don't know if it's supposed to do this, but I need to repair it. Hold on. Yeah, let's see if I can do this. First try. So then you put it into there. Alright, so then his legs are done. Pull out the arm again. Straighten out the forearm. Then you can bring the entire front of the truck down to where it's the chest. Take this bit, fold it in. There are tabs here and here. They go into slots here and here. There's also a little peg on the back of that. I was contemplating on whether or not showing that off in vehicle mode because you can attach this to it in vehicle mode and uh, it will become a part of it. Then you just fold the arms down. It, you can make this like an exhaust pipe or something, but it didn't, it didn't look good. Um, so then, once everything's tabbed in and all the arms are slotted together, you've got your cell up, up. One last step, one last step, this little t uh, flap behind his head, pull that all the way back for maximum head turnability. Then you've got yourself Siege Hound. Okay, so here is Hound in robot mode with all of his accessories attached to him and such. Uh, the lights are closer to my hands now, so that might be a bad idea. Um, anyway. He looks pretty good, uh, the lighting is actually really bad, so I'm going to fix that. Okay, lighting is fixed much, much better. Uh, so yeah, let's get a closer look on that head sculpt. Just straighten him out real quick. For some reason, um, I hate having a cat that- okay, let me start over. I don't like- having a cat because he sheds a lot and um for some reason this figure picks up a lot of hair so let me just raise up the camera a bit so as to you can see him there's him's face and uh it's pretty nice i like his boxed head design this version of hound has always been like one of my favorite Transformer designs for G1, just because he's so I am robot design, because he's like all squares and stuff. Even his chest is a square, so. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, uh, you can see some more copper on the forearms and there's stars up here. Uh, there's even copper on this little shoulder cannon piece. Oh, sorry. Don't want to be wrong. I just remembered why I brought this over here. It is a RT1... RT10 IR Electroscope Launcher. That That's what the official title is for that gun. This one here. The one on his shoulder. I'm going to call it a shoulder cannon. He also comes with a W5 Holo Beam Refraction Blaster. Holo beam, like his hologram. So, you have an actual excuse to buy multiples of this figure. Because he has holograms. Um, Hound can create them. And you can combine the weapons to create the HD Vector Beam Mega Blast. Sorry. HD Vector Beam Mega Blaster, which is whack. Uh, so, how you can do that is you can. Take that out of his hand, take this off of his shoulder, plug it in, take the magazine, fold it back and put it there, and then he's got a giant gun. So, uh, I like 
having a shoulder cannon. I don't care what it's actually called, I've already forgotten. So then there are little there's this tab on either side here. Here and then there or slot on either side. Tab is on this one. You can't use this uh, because it's too big. But you can just plug that into either side. This side fits it more securely. The other side it likes to pop out a lot, so yeah. And then you can just hold that or you can put it on this peg on the back for storage. So that's cool. You can also stick it out like that. Or I wonder. You can stick it in his back. So Yeah, um <laughs> that's weird. But uh take all this off because it might hinder articulation. Uh, but we aren't there yet, so um we can see some nice dry brushing here. I love how that looks. Um, I'll get into something. I did do something with Megatron and Optimus, uh, but I'm not going to do it with this guy because I'm afraid I couldn't mix a dark enough green or a, a green that is similar enough to this color to change it. But anyway, uh, his face, I love the color for the eyes. They look a bit bulbous in his head. You can see they kind of stick out a bit. I don't know why I, I think this, but yeah. Um, so yeah, for articulation, Hound can turn his head all the way around. Look down, that far, look up, that far. That's pitiful. He doesn't even, he has mm, no head tiltage either. Uh, you can bring the arms back due to transformation, but they are supposed to stay uh, tabbed in. You can twist his arms 360. They go out just about over 90. Uh, forearm or bicep swivel there. A single bend at the elbow that gives you a bit more than 90. And then his hand can swivel as well. He does have a waist swivel, which is great. Uh, some, uh, a lot of deluxe class transformers that I have. Um, Perceptor from Titan's Return, uh, others, they j uh, uh, Quake from Titan's Return as well, they don't have um, waist swivels at all. More modern figures do, like Optimus, Megatron, um, Hot Rod, and Jazz, they all have waist swivels, but yeah, I like that. Uh, he can kick forward that far, he can kick back that far. He can do a full out, outward kick, even more than uh, 90 to the body. Um, sorry. Uh, he can bend his knee a lot, but at the course of probably stressing that plastic, so I'm not going to do that. Um, there is also a inner thigh swivel, and then he's got a ankle tilt there goes down a lot and then you can classify this as a point of articulation he does have some toe articulation there you can fold it all the way back if you want him to but yeah there's articulation for hound let's put all of his weapons back on then we can measure him and get into the size comparisons so let's just get that Okay, so Hound measures uh, about five and uh, about five inches tall. Yeah, close enough to that. And uh, here is new Siege Hound with Generations Legends class Bumblebee. Uh, he's styled after like Cybertron designs, so. I love the color of this bumblebee, especially under these lights and on camera. Uh, he's much more metallic yellow in person, but this is like bumblebee colors right here. I hope that you guys can see this because if I like fuck out the light, it kind of ruins it. But anyway, yeah, he looks good with the Legends class bumblebee. Uh, here he is next to Titan's Return Hot Rod. So. Yeah, pretty cool. Hot Rod is 
tall. He's very tall, especially with those shoulders. He also has very flimsy legs now, so I hope that he doesn't like, you know, die or anything. But there we go. Uh, he shall not rise to be Rodimus Prime. Only Ultra Magnus deserves to be Prime. Uh, hashtag screw the monkey. Make Magnus Prime. Uh, speaking of Power of the Primes, here's Power of the Primes Jazz. Uh, again, Hot Rod is a giant. He is super tall, but um, these two look pretty good together. Here is Hound next to Siege Voyager Class Megatron, customized to get rid of all the uh, uh, drag rushing and stuff. You can barely tell under these lights. It's more noticeable in person, but the legs are black, the forearms were painted, and the chest was painted along with the helmet. Um, I even managed to save the original Decepticon logo. Uh, you can kind of see I kind of messed up around it, but it's fine. Uh, these Voyager figures are huge, and for another Voyager comparison, here he is next to boss bot optimus prime so let's try to make a little family photo but yeah mega or er, optimus is also customized with the shins painted the uh cab windows painted and then the shoulders painted and the forearms too so yeah uh so let's just get hound and optimus together that is pretty cool i like that um they look pretty good. Optimus looks great. And uh, I found out that the scale works between... It should work between Bumblebee and all the rest of the Siege figures due to Optimus. He comes to about uh, just above his knee in the G1 toy scale. So, there we go. And for one final comparison, the scale comparison toy to beat all others. The Mighty Devastator. Bam. Wow. Great. Fantastic. Uh, you can see Hound is fairly small compared to 18 inches of awesomeness, but uh, you can see just how small he is. Yeah, uh, Devastator looks good. Also, you may notice like some hot glue on that wheel. Yeah, uh, fell off the shelf and broke, so. But, or the dresser, I should say, it's not a shelf, but, um, I use my dresser as a shelf for Transformers, but, yeah, there is Devastator. And so, for the final verdict, this figure is great. It, the colors are beautiful, I love this copper, I love how the Autobot symbol is painted there, it looks very nice. The head sculpt is nice as well, the shoulder cannon and the other gun, they look great. The dry brush, dry brushing is good. The subtle dry brushing on the uh, bumper up here. The lights are painted nice. Uh, everything about this figure is great, and it just works in favor to boost the greatness of not only Optimus but hopefully the rest of the Siege line, because. I plan on eventually getting a lot more of these figures, such as like Prowl and uh, Ironhide and maybe Six Gun, maybe Ultra Magnus, but I know that I definitely am going to try to get Springer, um, Omega Supreme, Starscream, uh, what's his name? The shockwave and uh, like the other one, the sound wave. Yeah, cool. So yeah, Hound is great. Complements Optimus, Megatron, other figures very well from past lines. Doesn't even have to be Siege. Uh, but yeah, uh, I have a mixed display. Not only Siege, but like again, I have you know. Power of the Primes toys and Combiner Wars toys is just off camera over there. Uh, I'm talking about Big Debbie there. Uh, I've got 
the Titans Return. And I've just got Generations or Classics or whatever this figure is from. Throwing 30, maybe. That's a Generations storyline, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, Hound looks great. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week with a review for, finally, that X-Wing up there. You can barely see it. Can you see it now? You kind of can.